Oh, what up, happy people? There's a cow. Say hello. Yeah, cow. She's doing so much better. Good Austin. He just got back from Alabama. He's been deer hunting. Maverick's pissed because he's tied up. But we just got a picture from our trail camera saying we got a hog in the trap. Maverick, you want to go or what? Yes. You want to go? Yeah. Think we should take him? He said, please. Okay. He's going to come. Right. Hey, map this way. Okay. All right. You're going to come. Camo is tied up out there. She was licking the calf so much. But I thought, nah, that's not good. Then we got a picture. I'm not going to leave her here with the calf by herself. Austin's got corn and we got the side by side. Let's go. Whoa, off the lip. Whoa, whoa. Next time you get it. Maverick, come on. Get up there. No. Yeah, please. All right, let's not get caught here. That's our one mile target right there. Yeah, there's a boar hog in there. That's a red boar hog. Look at that woolly hog. That's a good boar hog right there, y'all. That's a good boar hog. <laughs> Maverick, that hog might be more than you want to tangle with. All right, Mav. Come here. Come here. Now look. Come here. I'm going to put you inside the truck. Get in there. Now do not jump out of the truck. First things first, we gotta take off our jacket. We gotta get dead serious, okay? This ain't no joke. See them teeth? Them teeth are razor sharp. Hold on. There's two. We'll do it right like this.
There you go. <laughs> Yeah, you're locked in. When you're in there holding them, the trap is meant to give so that when the hog runs into it, therefore you can't jump onto it and climb it fast. So when you're in the trap and you've got to hold a hog, letting go of him is not one of your options. We keep plenty of food, plenty of water in the trap so that any hogs that you catch, like right now, he's not able to breed but he's able to become probably the best wild game in all of the outdoors. That's a new bar hog. Probably a 125, 130 pound hog. That's how you make a bar, folks. Now, we're gonna go hunt. We're gonna hunt either to the north or to the west or to the east. All right, guys. We just got done dealing with the hog in the pen, which was not easy by any means. Now, uh, Austin is with Floyd. He's over on the other, other side. I'm in here and we're just gonna try to find a hog big hog. Look how beautiful that is. It's a beautiful cow pasture. We're going to get down here and See if we can't find a home. There's a hog coming out. There's a deer also. Probably like 200 yards. They're 300 yards away. It's a good thing I got Mab in the truck with me right now. We're gonna come down here and see if, I don't know how well of a shot I made on that hog. Mab, you ready? You ready? Come on. <clears throat> We're about to find out. If y'all look way behind me, that's where the, where I shot from this whole cow pasture I expected the hogs to come out there's all these little marshes so we'll see Mav's already up here let's see if he's on the hog or not so this is where the hogs were out here
Maverick, Maverick, come here. Maverick, come here. Maverick, come here. Got him then. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Catch a hog. Get him, boy. Yeah. Get him. Yes. You got that hog. You got that hog. Yeah, boy. You found him. Mav came in here and bade the hog up. The hog was laying down, but I could see him popping his jaws. So my only shot, I called Mav back. And, yeah, boy. Yeah, you got him. You got him. Now I got to get out of this mess and uh, go drop the gun off, come back and drag this hog out. All right, man, you're good, you're good. I've heard of being hungry, but I don't know how hungry. This is probably the best piece of meat on a hog. That's probably the worst piece of meat on a boar hog, but Floyd says they're good. Rocky Mountain oysters. First, we're gonna get rid of some of this membrane. And get that off of there. I don't think you're supposed to eat that. <laughs> I think everything in your hand right now is not on the menu, but we'll see. I had a skunk. That there, get that off of there. It's nice and very sharp. Yeah, that, that knife leaves a lot to be desired. There we go. There, Maverick. No, <laughs> you might kill my dog. Don't give him to him. <laughs> All right. We're going to slice it up. Put that in the egg wash. Just keep slicing. Get that membrane off of there. Robert didn't want to eat the membrane. <laughs> I don't want to eat any more of them. Oh man, how'd I get talked into this? Same way you did when you ate the skunk. Yeah. The skunk was 100% the worst <laughs> thing I've ever eaten in my life. This may be worse. I would have rather to just showed up and you given it to me versus having to see it. Well, you just can't think about what you're eating when you eat this. You just cut it. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it's probably not a good chicken. We should have taken this home and just let Aria and, and uh, Sarah be the taste tester. Emma would be like, I'm out. I'm 100% out. Stir that up, get them soaking there pretty good. I don't like these knives. The handle on these knives, I don't like. I don't know when I even bought that thing. I had it. I think I it's... bought it for whacking up hind quarters of deer or something. I don't know. That's what meat is supposed to look like. This part right here is the jelly roll. Robert's favorite piece of meat. <laughs> Give it a good flyer. Should be ready for the grease here in a little bit. Floyd's been to the Daytona 500. This will be his 43rd year in a row. So that's next weekend. I say you go get a bunch of boar hogs, cut them all, 
and just go have a big fry. Set up a stand. Yes. Rocky you Mount, should Rocky, definitely do that. Rocky Mountain oysters. This right here is the best thing that I've ever bought in my life. This is a bioclassic fryer. I take it everywhere with me. Yeah, here we go. Oh yeah. These are gonna be great. Gotta make sure you get them done though. <laughs> Otherwise, they're a little chewy. <laughs> All right, I think they're done. Well, uh, give Robert the taste test. Put them in the, the let them stay warm. It's a secret compartment. to see which one do you think is going to taste the best. I'm actually thinking about going blind and putting a blindfold on and just tasting them. <laughs> because otherwise, if I know what I'm eating, it's going to be terrible. That's typically what we eat. Fried backstrap. From a bar. Not a boar that became a bar. <laughs> you wanna go in here? Look how good that looks. Hey, watch this. Let me show you a trick. Take this right here. So all that seasoning comes off in the grease. Now it's good. Me and Dalton all in. A lot like every other country boy in, in the world in Florida, we grew up hog hunting. He still runs dang dogs all the times. One of the things that we do, if you catch a boar hog, whether he's 20 pounds or 200 pounds, we cut him and let him go. He becomes a, a barrow or a bar hog, what we call him. And what you're left with is food for Floyd. So Floyd, <laughs> just try that. Okay, I'll, I'll try it first. Looks good. I wouldn't want to live on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I gotta put some hot sauce on here. That's not bad. Oh man. Oh really? Is that chicken? I'm like Emma. I'll take a pee. <laughs> About that big. Gosh dang it. I wish I wish someone would have done this and I not been there. better than that skunk it's a lot better than skunk i swear to god try it come on dalton i'll try that <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah this is a rather good piece huh i mean i'm not i'm not gonna let these go to waste that's tender so is this it's like an aphrodisiac <laughs> You can have them all. I might need a little hot sauce. <laughs> it's like a soft gizzard. It's exactly what it's like. It's like a soft chicken gizzard. I expected it. So, a boar hog has a really foul, musky smell. It's like a barracuda. A barracuda stinks, but when you cook it, it's not there. This is tender. And uh, it has no smell to it. You ready, uh, Austin? To, to throw it in the woods or? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll pass. Mm. I mean, you only let Oh, Dalton's going for it? I'll try it. He's going for it. Like a soft gizzard. It really ain't that bad, honestly. Yeah, it's the thought that kills yeah, exactly. me. Exactly, yeah. I've cut a lot of these things off in some really awkward positions but uh yeah hey, i'm kind of liking them i can now say we've eaten rocky mountain rocky oysters. mountain oysters better get a little more hot sauce <laughs> <laughs> so hey this is what i want from you guys leave in the comments below something crazy 
that you want to see us go out and catch, clean, and cook. That's about this and skunk is the two craziest things I've ever been a part of. But uh, I couldn't think of two better people to try it with. We're right here at a ranch in Bunnell. This is Dalton's place, and uh, this is my home away from home. So anyway, we're thinking about taking the lodge back there and fixing it up and making it an Airbnb, something that people from all over the world can come and fish and hunt and have a great time. If you think that's a good idea, maybe you'd like to come, leave in the comments below. But other than that, we're gonna keep eating backstrap and having a good time. We got a lot more to do today. Take care, God bless, and guess what? We gone.